Hello guys, and welcome back to another tutorial for Creator. So today what we're going to be covering is another uh, procedure-based tutorial. This one's going to be a easier one to learn. We're going to be covering operators today, which is going to be another huge uh, stepping stone to basically get to working with other procedure blocks and stuff like that. I believe the last uh, tutorial that I did for procedures had to do with uh, the X, Y, and Z coordinates. Now that was really useful for a lot of the beginners. This is going to be more uh, people that are familiar with things, most of the, the code and stuff, but are uh, have struggling with uh, you know comparing things and stuff like that. So um, operators can be uh, used or found under the logics tab right here. These are all different types of operators. Uh, what an operator basically is is something that tests for a value and uh, compares two things. So that usually is what an operator does. There is an extra operator down in the math section but that's more for numbers and uh, com it, it's not really for comparing it's more for uh, number based comparing if anything so uh, we're going to be looking at all these today and maybe if we have time we'll cover the math operator as well so there are a whole bunch of different types um, I'm just going to try remembering them off the bat of my head so there is the uh, logic operator which uh, deals with logic based um, uh, variables and other things like that so things like uh, true or false statements would be usually done with the light blue operator then there is a dark blue operator which is uh, a number based operator but not a math based operator so a math base operator is uh, down in the math base section. This one deals with numbers, but not math equations. So we'll be covering that one as well because there's some extra variables and stuff rather than just comparing exactly, testing if two things are true or not. Uh, this one is uh, a green operator. This is for text. So you would be comparing if the text is equal to whatever text um, that you're testing for. Um, you can test for strings with this particular one. That one's numbers, that one's logic. So these would be the three you would be testing for, um, for mostly variables and stuff like that. Uh, the orange operator, now this used to be a little bit different. Um, I believe it used to be red or something like that uh, in a couple, like 2020.2. But what this is, is a direction operator. So we'll be covering directions and all that other stuff later. Um, but directions is your basic northwest, southeast, up and down directions. So you can compare directions using this operator here. Um, this red pink kind of operator here is a item operator. Uh, you can tell that it's an item operator because it has the diamond uh, little icon here as well as a block icon. So this means that it can be either a block item or an, a regular item um, that you can compare it with. And there is only one choice to tr test if it's true or not. Um, there is also a uh, block operator, which is the yellow one down below. And again, very similar to the past four, it only tests if it's uh, equal to something. So we're going to be looking a little bit more into these ones here. And uh, before I forget, this uh, other operator here, uh, what this basically does is compares, or it doesn't really compare, but it, um, it allows you to uh, manipulate the numbers rather than um, actually test for things. So this uh, basically is a math-based one but you can add to the number, subtract, and all that other stuff. It's basically an operator, but it's more of a, a way to uh, manipulate the numbers and values rather than compare them. So operators for comparing this math uh, component is more for manipulating the number into a value that you need it to be or something like that. 
Now for most other operators, including, um, well, most operators, now that we're talking about the logic operators, these ones here, you can directly put them on to a if, uh, if statement or an if L or else if statement. And uh, what you can do is you can compare for certain things. Uh, right here, we would be comparing for items. Uh, now we're going to need to cover a little bit extra stuff with the logic and number. Now I'm not completely familiar with, uh, actually I'm pretty familiar with that. Yeah, okay, I'll be able to cover all this, no problem. Um, Alright, so the logic operator up here, which is the light blue operator, it tests for true or false statements. Um, now you can put things into these operators. If we go to world um, data, we can actually put a uh, can block at see the sky. Now this is a true or false statement because it's light blue. We can put it in here. Then we'll do whatever we want in this section here. Uh, we can also test if it's false by clicking on the true statement and then setting it to false. So if it's if the block can't see the sky, then do something here. Um, for these particular sections here, what you would do is you would uh, use the math operator uh, rather than uh, in the math base section to manipulate the coordinates rather than use a logic operator. Using a logic operator won't, you can put that in there, but it won't connect to the actual thing because it's it requires a manipulation of the actual number, not um, the not to basically compare it. So as you can see, if we use a math based operator, it'll want to connect to the proper coordinates. So that's basically the difference between uh, comparing something and manipulating something. You'll be able to do more uh, with specific coordinates and stuff with a math, um, math based one rather than um, a operator that's a number operator. So uh, with that being said, there are different uh, basically operations. Now there's operators and there's operations. Different operations are basically uh, from this drop drop down box. Uh, if we click on it, you'll be presented with uh, different types of basically operations that you can do to test for the data. So it, by default, it's always on equals. Um, basically, this compares if one value is equal to uh, the other value. If it is equal to, then it will do something. Um, now, the other one below here, this one with the equal sign with the cross down the middle, that basically means is it not equal to something. So if the block can't see the sky, it would be equivalent to putting a not statement um, in for a certain part of thing. We'll cover the not statements later on because it's a little bit different. But um, if it's not equal to, then if you don't want to test to see if it's equal, then you would use that one. And statements will test uh, for multiple inputs. Um, now, this usually is done with, if we were using this particular operator, like if we need to test for something that's Boolean, um, which is a true or false statement, then what we would need to do is have another operator in there and we would test uh, to see if it is, uh, for example, can the block see the sky equal to true? And then we would uh, say um, another location, maybe plus y something or other, uh, another block next to it or something like that. We change the x coordinates and we would test also if this is true. So these two inputs here would have to be true in order for it to be executed. Um, there is also an or statement. Uh, or statements are basically if, um, or sorry, operator is basically if uh, one or the other is true. Um, it doesn't matter if one isn't true, it just requires um, only one to be true or not. Um, and XOR means our, uh, I'm sorry, I haven't looking at Minecraft wiki for this one. I'm not too familiar with this. Are the inputs different? So if the, this one is true and 
this one is false and it's in the same or a different location, then it's going to compare if this value is uh, different than this value. Only one needs to be different. So this would uh, run properly. And then the code down here would basically run as you would assume it would. Uh, now with the number based one it's a little bit different uh, there are, it does require a couple inputs and stuff like that so uh, we can go back to our world data there's tons of different uh, operators that we can use from here uh, what we can do is uh, we'll use world time that one will be easy to explain so we're getting the world time and then we're going to be testing if it's equal to and then what, what time do we want it to be equal to? It has to be the exact time for this to basically run. So let's see, it's at uh, 6 a.m., which would be, um, I think 6 a.m. is zero, so we could test if it's zero. Is it exactly 6 a.m. in the morning? So if that's true, then it will execute something. If it's not true, then it won't work. Um, it has to be exactly that time. If it's not that time, then it won't work. Um, there is also not equal to, so is it any time but six o'clock in the morning? Um, that could be even milliseconds or ticks after the time was passed. Uh, another operator is, is less than uh, six o'clock in the morning. Well, that wouldn't really work because it's already at zero. So it has to be a number higher. So we can test if the world time is less than 9 a.m. in the morning or 6,000 ticks and it will test all the way to 0 o'clock in the morning. Now that would, or 6 o'clock in the morning, which would be 0 ticks. Now that would be a valid thing, but you're not going to be exactly testing for 9 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be one tick below that. So what it actually be testing for is 5999 um, and uh, basically below to zero. So because less than isn't testing if it's also equal to, that's where you would use the equal to or less than symbol. This tests for the exact value that you input. So again, testing for if it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning and having that little line underneath the uh, greater than sign or less than sign basically says, is it less than or equal to? The line means equal to. Uh, if it doesn't have that line, then it's not equal to. So uh, 6 a.m. Um, or 9 a.m. between 9 a.m. and 6 a.m. would be the proper way to do that particular procedure unless you need to test for uh, something lower than 6 a.m. Now, using the less than can also be good for um, multiple operators. So I'll cover that in just a second. But uh, the other symbol here, the one that's pointing to the right-hand side, means greater than. So is it greater than uh, 6 .0 or 6001? Is it this number or greater? So it will go all the way to um, uh, 2399 and anything above that. So this would be the exact number that it would be testing for, not the 601 ticks or 601, you know, the uh, one tick above. So now what we can use in combination of these two particular operators is if we go back to our lot, uh, logic operators grab the operator here and we can add a and statement and then we can put this operator in that operator and we're going to test if the number is equal to or greater than zero so we're going to be testing exactly for zero and then what we're going to do is go and place that operator um, basically clone that operator and then we're going to test if it's less than 9,000 or 6,000. So it will be testing if it is exactly uh, 5999. 
uh, ticks because it's less than it's not with uh, the equal to number so we're gonna set that to six again and that basically tests for five nine nine and then rather than basically have to test for the next uh, section what we could do is say we were testing for multiple times we could test if it's greater than 666 or 6000 and then say 900 so this will be testing for if it's uh, 8999 and right there we just made a seamless code that will test every tick. So it'll test everything between uh, 0 uh, and 5999 and then over here it'll be testing for 6000 so one tick above what we last tested for and then it will be testing again uh, for one tick below 9000. So you could do this as many times as you want uh, you just keep adding if else statements until you run out of uh, numbers you can use. So uh, again, 9,000 would be over here because we would want the exact number. And over here we would set it to 12 and then it would be right under 12. And then you just keep doing that until you want to uh, basically uh, stop. And what this basically does is create a range of numbers that you can test for, but it's between certain values which um, it will only run from. If you were to only do this, then it's going to test for everything above this number. If you're testing with an AND statement like this, what it's basically doing is it's going to be testing for a specific uh, array of numbers between these two variables. So uh, with that being said, hopefully this uh, tutorial be, uh, made some sense. Um, I know we didn't cover, cover the math operators. I think I'll save that for another uh, tutorial for uh, math based things. I want to cover numbers and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll probably be covering some of these different operators here when we get some time to do that. But uh, right now I just wanted to cover the operators. Hopefully this will help you test for some interesting things and help you get started with basic procedures. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.